Hey all, this is my first tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make a really basic techno bass line using Native Instruments F FM8. Um, I've been using all the free resources and YouTube tutor tutorials out there on the web to learn synthesis, so I thought I'd give something back and show you what I've learned. So first things first, we've got the notes that I've got ready. Um, maybe in a future video I'll show you how I go about making a bass line, but for now here they are. Of course they don't make any sound because there's no instrument loaded. And as well as that, I've got a really basic drum track, just so we can reference the rhythm of the bass against some drums. I like to do that when I'm making bass sounds, or any sounds in fact. So let's load up an FM8. And it's got a new sound, which is just a sine wave. So let's go in and modify that and make it a bit more exciting. Uh, this is the first oscillator we're going to be looking at. It's just a normal sine wave. First thing I'm going to do is feed it back on itself. What that does is turns it into more of a sine wave, uh, saw wave rather. Um, but I'm not going to do it too much, just enough to give it a few more harmonics and make it a bit more interesting. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is turn this next uh, oscillator on by right clicking on it. And change the ratio to 2. Um, then I'm going to feed that into the first one. And adjust the level. That's about right. Now I'm going to give them both envelopes. F first. We're going to give it an, an attack and decay envelope. That's just so all it's got is attack and decay, n nothing else no sustain or release, because we want it to be a sort of percussive sound. Okay. And do the same for E. Maybe make the envelope a little bit shorter than the first one. Cool. Next thing I'm going to do is um, basically replicate this in these two oscillators, and then I'm going to pan them either side of the stereo field so it gives the bass a it's kind of wider fatter sound so again give D an envelope and turn it on first route it to the output and see we're gonna give a ratio of two just like with E and an envelope Turn it on and feed it in. Okay, now I'm going to pan these left and right. Mm. Oh, forgot to feed D on itself. That's why the just slightly. And I've panned it the wrong way. There we go. Pan the wrong output. That doesn't matter. Cool. That's sounding okay. Next thing I'm going to do is double this bass up because usually I find that a single synth isn't enough to uh, to make a f the fat the kind of the fat sound that I'm really looking for. So what I've done is just click the duplicate button. I'll copy the notes over, and I'm going to make this one. Let's name them so this one could be the high bass, and this one's going to be the kind of deeper subier bass. So. In our setup, these two, C and E, make the kind of higher transients, so I'm going to lower those down because for this one we want a sort of subier sound. The other thing I'm going to do is change the ratio of F and D to 0.5. Basically what that does is lowers it down an octave, makes it bassier. And I'm also going to pan them more in the center because with this subby bass, we don't want it too far out wide. We want it in the middle or near the center anyway. Maybe give them a little bit more feedback so there's a little bit more harmonics going on. Cool. I think I might also compress that a little bit and give it some more gain. So 
so it sort of brings it out, brings the sound up a bit. And I'll probably do the same for this one. final thing I'm going to do is send the high bass to a bus and I'm going to put a reverb on that channel let's pull it up a bit so we can hear it I don't know what we'll put on the small space uh, wooden studio will do I'm also going to insert a high pass just before that reverb because we don't want the low frequencies going into the reverb if they do it'll start to muddy up the bottom end a lot and obviously if you're playing that on a big club system you don't want the the bottom end to be all f muddy and un unlistenable so um, let's have a listen to what we've got now It's not quite club ready yet, but it's not bad. So uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment. And uh, if you know, if everyone likes it, I'll maybe make a couple more of these. Cheers, guys. <laughs>